Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is February 4th, 2020, and I have a Hirschner's order that came in, so I'm really excited to open that up and show you guys. Um, and then I wanted to let you know I was tagged for the Canadian Crotcheters block party, and I was also tagged for Season of the Granny, so I wanted to talk a little bit about those things too. So, all right, let's see. Well, I know what's in the box. It was a while ago, <laughs> but um, here is my box from Hirschner's. So we're gonna open this and I'll show you what I got. There's like a whole bunch of catalogs in here. I'll look at those later. <laughs> and they did give me a packing slip with prices, so that's pretty exciting. Usually you have to look it up. So let's go over what I had. Now, one of the reasons that I ordered from Hirschner's is they had Premier Basics, um, and they also, I think, had a sale uh, it doesn't say on here, but I think it was like free shipping or 20 cent shipping or something like that. So 20% off. I don't remember. They have so many sales. You guys should just sign up for their email list. Um, so the main reason I got this order was I wanted to try the Premier Basics and they had a good deal. I know you can get it on the Premier site, but there wasn't any specials on Premier, so I just got it on Hirschner's. So I wanted to try the Premier Basics and... Um, I wanted to get some neutral colors just to match things. So I got five different colors of Premier Basics. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I know everyone has probably seen it on another you know, video, um, but this is the first time for me seeing it. So I will tell you about it. It's called Premier Basics, B-A-S-I-X. It's a number four worsted. 359 yards, 328 meters, seven ounces, 200 grams, 100% acrylic. It is recommending a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and a 5.5 millimeter hook. It says it is tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. Machine wash warm, tumble dry. This is made in Turkey. And the color on this one is called Hazel. Now I did get mostly shades of beige and browns on these. So this one is Hazel. I only got one of each just to try it. And it does feel way softer than Red Heart Super Saver. Like way softer, guys. Okay, so Hazel. This one is called Pecan. It's a little bit darker than that, there we go. And then this one is called Linen. This one is called Cream. Ooh, that's blowing out. <laughs> you can't even really see that one. It's Cream. And then this last one is called Taupe. So I wanted to uh, just get some neutrals in my stash. Oh, you can maybe see that a little bit. So just got all shades of browns there. There you go. Uh, these were $2.99 each. I think on the Premier website, they're $3.99 regular price, but I'm sure they go on sale all the time. So, <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing that I got, <clears throat> excuse me, was Premier Bloom. And I heard that the knitting pattern turns out nicer than the crochet pattern, but I don't care. Um, Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker, just did a review on this, so go and check out her video. This is uh, 656 yards, 600 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams, 100% acrylic. It says it's a number 3 lightweight. They're recommending a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle and a 4.25 crochet hook. Machine wash warm, tumble dry, made in Turkey. And the color on this one is Sandpiper. And it's supposed to make like a, a pattern when you make it up. Uh, so I got two of those. Kind of hard to see that. Now this one doesn't have like the green in it where it makes the flower pattern, but I'm sure it makes some kind of pattern. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Carrie Penny worked these up. These were $6.99 each. And then again, I think I did get like a, a discount on them. Okay, uh, the next thing I got was Red Heart 
roly poly. Let me take one out. Now this one is, hang on guys, eyeballs. <laughs> this one is 100% uh, acrylic, 3.5 ounces, 374 yards, 100 grams. It says it's made in Turkey. Uh, this color is called Sweet Dreams. It's saying it's a number four, recommending a 5.5 a crochet hook and a five millimeter knitting needle, machine wash warm, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. Um, I don't know, it's, it reminds me of like the Red Heart Ombre, but Red Heart Ombre is not this soft. This is really soft, you guys. And it's really light, so it almost reminds me of like a baby yarn, and they actually have a baby on the, <laughs> on the label. Um, but it, it reminds me of a lighter weight yarn. And I really like this. I, I got three of them. Oops, three of them. <laughs> so I don't know what I'll make with it. 374 yards, that's, that's almost, out of three of them, that's like 1,200 yards. I can make a really pretty shawl with that. So um, I don't know, it feels really nice. I'll give it a try and see what, it, what it's like. All right, the next thing I got was, oh, I'm sorry, price, you guys. Um, those were $5.99 each. Okay, I don't know what my gray kick is, but I got <laughs> another uh, red heart, and this is called Roll With It Sparkle. And there's the color, you can see the sparkle. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so roll with it sparkle here. I'm gonna let you guys look at it because it's so pretty. There you go, sorry about my Band-Aid. Um, this is 97% acrylic, 3% other fibers, 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, 561 yards, 513 meters. This is made in Turkey. The color is called Diamonds. This is a number four, recommends a 5.5 crochet hook and a five millimeter needle, and machine wash and dry. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Um, not the softest, but that could be because of the sparkle in there, but still gorgeous. And this, like I said, 561 yards, so two of them will make a really nice shawl. Now these were $6.99 each, okay. So, uh, the next thing I got was this Soho Lively, Lively. And this I think is like a Hirschner's only type deal because I've never heard of this brand before. Um, this is, let's see here. The color name on this is Gotham. It is 100% acrylic. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 262 yards, 240 meters. Machine wash, lay flat to dry, made in China, distributed by Hirschner's. It's a number three, four millimeter knitting needles and a five millimeter hook. And this is, <clears throat> let's see, I'll show you the reason that I got it, because look at the purples in there. <laughs> I got five of these. There are There is purple in there. It's just probably, yeah, there you go. You can see it in there. So I got five of these and they do look like really different, right? But you know that once you get into the, the hank, it'll be fine. Um, I just wanted to try it. It reminds me of like Red Heart Landscape. Not Red Heart Landscape, Lion Brand Landscape, right? So I just wanted to try them. They looked really pretty. And these were $2.99 each. And then the last thing I got was this Hirschner's Halloween yarn. And the reason I got it, you guys, is because it's sparkly. <laughs> and it was pretty inexpensive too. This was only $1.99 for one of these. And I'll tell you about it. The color on this one is orange. 98% uh, acrylic, 2% polyester, 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 90 yards, 82 meters, 
size eight needles, size H hook, machine wash, dry flat, made in China. So I got four all together. They're really original with their colors. The yellow is called yellow, the purple is called purple, and the orange is called orange. <laughs> so I just needed a little bit more sparkly yarn in my life, so I got those. So that was my Hirschner's order. So now let's talk about these crochet alongs, season of the grannies, block parties, all that other stuff. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about is the season of the granny. And this one was actually started by Krista at The Secret Yarnery and Glenda at Creative Grandma. Love both of them. Now I was tagged by Jane at Scraptastic Yarns. And I guess what it is, is you have until March 18th, and I guess you're supposed to just make things with granny squares uh, or the granny stitch. I could totally do that. Um, but if you want more information on that, I'm going to link Krista's video down below as well as Glenda's down below. And thank you, Jane, for tagging me. And now I'm gonna tag some people that I wanna participate in this uh, season of the granny. So I'm gonna tag, and if you've already been tagged, I'm sorry, um, Heather the Crochet Witch, Lisa at Happy to Hook Creations, Tracy at Crochet Rosetti, Reggie at J Hook Crochet, and Jenny at Jenny's Arts and Crafts. So tag, you're it, can't wait to see what you do. <laughs> and then um, there is another cal going around and it's called the Block Party. Now this is actually being done by Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter. And hey Deb, and uh, I was actually tagged by Gary at Urban Yarn. I love Gary. If you guys don't know Gary, you need to go check him out. He is so talented. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna link him down below. By the way, everyone that I talk about on this video, there will be a link for them in the description box down below. So anyway, Gary tagged me, and I'm going to also include a link for the video from Debbie on this so you can um, understand what she's trying to do here. And this crochet along goes, started January 6th, and it goes until March 6th. And I guess it's also like make a block um, and turn it into something. So you can't just like crochet a granny square and turn it into a coaster. You actually have to turn it into something else. So I guess my question to Debbie is, does it have to be a granny square or can it be some other kind of square? Because I already have something kind of in the works and it's not a granny square. So Debbie, let me know. <laughs> All right, so uh, I got tagged there. I don't really have anyone to tag on that one except for every single person watching this video. So I'm not gonna tag any YouTubers, but I'm gonna tag my subscribers. And what I want you guys to do is, cause you can um, hashtag it on Instagram. And then what I want you guys to do is go and join my Facebook group. There's a link in the description box down below. Uh, remember there are three questions that you need to answer in order to join. And then I want you guys to post your block party stuff there. So she is letting you guys post it on Instagram as well as Ravelry, but I want all of my subscribers, whoever wants to do it, to put it in my Facebook group too so we can all see what you're doing because I need some more ideas too. Okay, so that is it for cows and stuff like that. So we're gonna also try and do Q&A session uh, part two. <laughs> um, in my last video, I had done like 25 questions that people had asked me last year and I just never got around to answering him answering the question. So I wanna do another bunch of questions now and then hopefully we can do one more session in the next video and get this stuff done. So um, here are some more questions, okay. So um, how long have you been on YouTube? Um, I have been on YouTube for about a year. Um, is purple everything or what? Purple is everything and more. It's like a bag of chips, totally. Purple is everything and a bag of chips, you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, what hook do I use for the divine hat? 
Um, so for my divine hats, I use a 5.5 millimeter for the most of the hat, and then I go down to a 4.5 millimeter for the brim. Um, but be careful, you guys, because if it's thicker yarn, you might want to go to a five millimeter. If it's thinner yarn, you might want to use a six millimeter. You really just have to play around with it. Um, tw number 29, have I ever made a log cabin blanket? No, but it sounds really cool. I would like to try. Um, number 30, do I use a ball winder and what brand? So I have two ball winders. One is a really cheap one that I got on Amazon for like $14.99 and I don't know what brand it is. And then I got a bigger one that can do like eight or 10 ounce balls um, that I also got on Amazon, but I don't know what brand, brand it is. Um, but it's big and it's really nice. Um, it did destroy my kitchen table, the little screw, it destroyed my table. So just be careful where you set up your ball winders. All right, number 31, what is the hardest thing I ever made? Um, amigurumi. <laughs> Anything amigurumi is hard for me. I, can't, I don't like doing small things. So um, I tried to make teddy bears. Uh, I think uh, the tutorial I used was from Be Hooked and she's a phenomenal teacher. I'm just a really poor student when it comes to amigurumi. Um, number 32, the favorite thing I've made for carrots, I actually made her a turtle blanket because um, she is a turtle fanatic. Um, and it's actually uh, hexagons. And then you put the hexagons together to make the shell. And I had to make the head and the flippers and the tail and sew it all together. And this was in my beginning days. So it took a long time. Um, number 33, am I married? No. And that's kind of an odd question to ask someone. I mean, unless you're looking to date me, I don't know why that's relevant. <laughs> All right, so these next three questions or four questions are from Z, Zelda, and RJ3. What up, Z? Um, have I taken a cruise and where? Yes, I took a cruise to uh, Baja, California, Mexico. Um, have I ever straightened my hair? Yes, but um, it, it doesn't really stay, so I don't bother. And the most famous person I met I don't know. Um, I met Holly at the proper pineapple. That was really cool. <laughs> oh, I met Marley Bird too. And I met her at, um, I met Holly at YarnCon last year. And I met Marley Bird at um, Stitches Midwest last year. So uh, they're famous people to me in the crochet world. Hey, Holly. Hi, Marley. Marley doesn't watch this. <laughs> okay. Um, Number 35, how did I get started on YouTube? Well, um, I really like yarn and crochet and I was getting all these good deals and made all these things and no one really cared here in, in my neck of the woods. So I was like, maybe someone out there on YouTube will care. So that's why I started it. Um, how do I stay motivated? I don't really need to stay motivated. I just love to crochet. So um, I don't know if you're not motivated, you. I don't know what to tell you because I'm always motivated. Number 37, how do I decide what's next? Um, it, usually I'll pick my favorite project and I'll just put it on the hook and that'll be it. Um, I did that recently and then I've gotten two test projects to do and a special order. So, you know, stuff just goes by the wayside eventually. Um, have I done any graph gans and what stitches did I use? So I'm in the middle of doing a graph gan right now and it is a uh, custom graph gan, obviously, for my daughter. She plays piano and she's into music and it's got um, the staff on it with a, a treble clef and some music notes and it has her name on it, her real name. Um, I use single crochet, it's like 300 something rows. I'm like halfway done, it's taken me three years to get this far. <laughs> she thinks she might get it for her high school graduation. Um, it takes a long time, especially when you have a row with a lot of change color changes. And you guys will probably not ever see it, at least not the portion with her name on it. So, um, but it's very, very challenging. At least to me, it was challenging. Uh, what's my favorite food? Chocolate. My favorite stitch, all of them. <laughs> do I have a video on speed crochet? I do not. Um, I know everyone thinks I'm really fast crocheter. Um, I don't even know how to show you how fast I crochet. Um, 
Number 42, do I gauge swatch? I don't, I just wing it, but that's probably because I haven't made any garments that need to be swatched. Um, how do I price my items? I think I answered this before. Uh, usually three times the cost of the yarn, and that's not at sale price, that's regular price. How do you find good deals on yarn? Uh, you guys just check YouTube. Uh, everyone uh, get sign up for everyone's emails like all the yarn companies sign up for their newsletters and their emails number 45 do i buy yarn online yes i just unboxed hirschner's number 46 do i do any other crafts yes i scrapbook i make cards i do diamond painting i'm trying to teach myself how to knit Shh, don't tell anybody <laughs> Um, what is your first project that you ever did? I did a blanket uh, and I still have it. So that's pretty cool. All right, a couple more. Uh, what are my favorite notions? I guess my favorite notions, um, scissors. My favorite hooks are Susan Bates. Love those. Um, nothing else really. Stitch markers uh, and darning needles. And that's really all I need. Um, number 49 is my middle name lightning. It's not, <laughs> I don't have a middle name actually. And number 50, how do you attach loveys? Um, I don't, I actually use a video tutorial by Z Zelda NRJ three on how to do loveys. So I will put that in the description box below and, uh, we'll stop there with the questions. We have some more, but we'll do it in the next video. Okay, so now I have a secret, you guys. Come here. It's my birthday today. Oh, so yeah. So to celebrate, <laughs> and I'm not putting this in the title, so don't put anything in the description box below that there's a giveaway. We're gonna do a giveaway for my birthday because I'm so excited. Now, what do you have on your birthday? You have cake. And I thought about giving you guys Karen cakes for my birthday, but I really like Karen cakes and I didn't want to give any of mine away. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? It's okay, I can do it because it's my birthday. So anyway, I do have Karen yarn in this box and it is Karen Simply Soft. So I'll just show you a few. Let's see, one, two, three, four five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Okay, there are eight skeins of Karen Simply Soft in this box and I will find other things to throw in here too. And it is to celebrate my birthday. So happy birthday to me means you guys get to get a giveaway. Uh, this will only be open to the US. I apologize to all my international friends. Um, there'll be the eight skeins of yarn in here. Plus if I can shove anything else in there, I'll put some other stuff in there too. But this box is pretty full. Um, the giveaway starts today, February 4th and it will end in one week. So on February 11th at midnight, it will end, and then on February 12th, I'll pick a winner. So um, please do not say anything about a giveaway. Um, actually, you can make any comment that you want in this video. Um, no, you know what? Because some people won't stay until the end to realize there's a giveaway. So how about we put in the comment section, I will search for the keyword. How about we do, uh, the keyword will be chocolate because you guys, chocolate is my favorite. So at some point in the video or in your comment, you have to use the word chocolate. And um, you have to be 18, you have to be a subscriber. I will check, so if your subscriptions are private and I cannot see that you're subscribed to me, then you won't be entered into the giveaway. Um, and I'll put all the other giveaway rules in the description box. So that's it, you guys. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'm gonna have a great day. So I will talk to you all later, bye.